Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, Christian and I are gonna be getting into episode two, season two of The Boys. And we're really excited to get into this one because Billy's back. We finally have the whole boys squad back together again. And you know shit's about to go down because you know they're gonna get that compound V, we're gonna go after Vought. And the CIA lady's head like blew up. So I mean, shit's going real. And also there's so many moving pieces in the show. like. I mean, it's crazy, but we're strapped in, we're ready to go, and we can't wait to get into it and find out what happens. Yeah, I thought episode one was a really great re like reintroduction to all the characters and to the seven. And you know, we already knew that this show was like darker and grittier and gory, but I honestly forgot how funny it was. Like the whole first episode, we were just like laughing our asses off. It was awesome. Now this next episode is called Proper Preparation and Planning say that five times fast <laughs> um, and that just kind of reminds me of Billy that sounds like something Billy would say or do so that kind of has him written all over it to me I'm expecting this next episode to have a lot of Billy in it um, since there wasn't much in the first episode so I think we're ready thank you guys so much for joining us let's do it episode two let's do it what did it say on all that there was a description mm. of the house. Oh, large pines. How the hell did he get here? That's what I'm saying. Did Homelander bring him? How else would he have gotten here? And why what? didn't Homelander just kill him? Like, honestly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's in a parking lot. Dang, nobody recognized him? Nice. <laughs> Oh, he did. He, what? He wrote down the house. Oh, he was just writing out all the descriptive information. That okay. he remembers. Oh, God. Uh-oh. She's going to be like, uh, I got to get my manager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Juniper. He saw juniper plants. He even jotted down like the direction of the breeze. Mm -hmm. God damn. Well he and I think he did the sun too, like where it was. Oh, smart. When it was setting. She's trying to tell him. I don't understand what she's trying to say. I'm with Frenchie, yeah. Something that happened in the first episode, she knows something. She saw an origami piece at the boat. Maybe. I think she might know who it is. Yeah. We got boy and boat. That's it. That's all she's given us so far. Well, technically, I brought him. He blew up Madeline Stillwell. I told you. She was already dead when I blew her up. <laughs> she was already dead. <laughs> She's just letting this happen? What is she gonna do? She can't tell Homelander no. That's okay, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get the next one. I forgot, does his kid have powers? I think it does, Does it, it transfer even if he was just a test subject? I don't know. Maybe that's what they were trying to find out. Mm. Use your powers. He does have oh. powers. This reminds me of Invincible so much. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. Yes, you can. You're a Vilchamite. <laughs> There's 12 and 13 in the workbook. Yeah. Five, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. It's a finger. Being in the middle of the conversation. I'd be like, Dad just told me I have powers. I'm way more interested in hearing more about that. We thought it was best that he have as ordinary of a childhood as possible. Who's we? Yeah. Yeah. No. Is alive and well and running around as free as a goddamn bird. So. Oh, he said, "I won't kill Billy the Butcher if you let me see my son." It's not what you kill. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what the fuck you want from me. <laughs> hey guys. Why does More he always? Frescas. Yeah. It's so weird. Do they just pay a lot for product placement, or is there something to the frescas? I think there's something to the frescas. <laughs> operating is most of his functionally non existent. I'm telling you, there's a path here. Just leave it to me. 
Was that her way of saying this dude's an idiot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is he giving him shrooms? Okay, yeah, it was shrooms. <laughs> I saw that. Hey, open tea. your third eye, bro. Wait, are you not gonna drink any? Oh, see? This is your journey. Dang, so I'm gonna be alone tripping? That sounds terrible. Yeah. No one's gonna trip with me. <laughs> Who's out the girl Girls get it seven. done. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah, she's like the furthest thing from a superhero. <laughs> she's more like a, a newscaster or something. Oh, what? That's what she can do? She's like Storm? I'm sorry, family emergency. Is everything okay? Maeve, we've never had three women in the seven before. This is a moment. Girls get it done. You <laughs> <laughs> Girls get it done. You will parent for us. You are blessed to have your family and your friends. <laughs> what? In the name of Christ. Someone got her a fruit basket. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> See you again. Oh, I think he was the one who got the fruit basket. It was like a sign or something. Mm. Oh, come on, for Christ. You really think I've done that? You really want me to answer that? Christ, I know who killed Raina. What? Whoa. He knows? He knows? Why didn't you tell the boys? <laughs> Which I'm not, I'm sure shit wouldn't be for you. Oh, I didn't ask you to open my baggie. Just dipping a little toe. Dipping a little <laughs> toe. Let's go. Little way, okay. Just Come on, do it, dude. Rainer was meeting up with them for a reason. Oh, is he tripping now? Yeah. He's hearing someone talk to him. What? Oh man, he's tripping hard. <laughs> Is that his gills? Yeah, I remember he has gills. Oh yeah. What? His gills just spoke. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like the gills. That's right. Yeah. He's self-conscious. Oh, that's what was missing from... The picture. Yeah. Because that's what you do. You imagine women will laugh at us, so you humiliate them first. Mm-hmm. That's not true. You can't accept your own body, so you violate theirs. Damn. Damn. God, <laughs> His him. gills are being real. <laughs> right, right it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm dead right now. That was amazing. Oh, there's Maeve. She's got the Marvel uh, incognito look. Just glasses, baseball cap. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't tell. That's that's Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to call your mom? <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, someone else? Like a girlfriend? Or... I think I vaguely remember this. Mm -hmm. They like... They're aware that she's gay, but mm -hmm. like they won't allow her to be like that in public. Right. I guess it'll look on them. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. thank you. Because when we get the two on the side, just switch together. We lost one of them. We lost, we lost one, one of, of them. them. <laughs> Do girls make better heroes than boys? Do girls make better heroes? Look, uh, no offense. I, I get you have your talking points, but why does it matter whether heroes have a dick or a vat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think girls do anything better. Everybody's chicks and dicks are in it together. She's like, you know how hard I worked on girls get it done. <laughs> I see it as crease in my ass. You can practically see a starlight beauty. Huh. About girl power, let's talk about getting some pockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think you have such a brave hero hiding from you. Oh god. What? Ew. No, A Train, what? you're the worst. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, wasn't he there? Well, she's the one who resuscitated him, remember? He was having a heart attack. Oh, yeah. I think but he, he doesn't know that she was there with them? Does he not know? I, I thought he did. Yeah, she's, she's, I think she's freaking out, like, how much does he know? Yeah, right? right? 
happen if I hadn't been there to give you CPR? Oh. <laughs> She's like, that's the story, right? <laughs> He's gonna be like, except that's not what happened. How does everyone feel about you helping your traitor fucking boyfriend escape? Oh. Uh... <laughs> Who did you mention that? Hopefully no one yet. Let's just keep that between us. What? That was so sus. Should have let him fucking have that heart attack. <laughs> just had a meeting with the colonel. <laughs> he comes in here like he didn't just beg her to talk to him. <laughs> Get the old bill. Off our ass. How do we know you're telling the truth? Oh, come on, Huey. Climb aboard this train. Does he feel better? <laughs> I'm the ugly one. No. Yes. The inside. Dang, he did have a breakthrough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no way. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I wonder when he got the script, the actor who's like, my character's gonna do what? You know, as ridiculous as premises, he's doing a good, he's giving a good performance. I know. He's so serious. Like, I believed him this whole time this mm -hmm. is happening. I just know in the other room, the guy's listening in. Right. And there's only <laughs> one voice. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Dang, he did it. Good shit. Are you kidding me? You brought it here? Hey Train, I'm gonna need you to just get out of here. You're you're messing up the plan. <laughs> I'm scared right now. <laughs> oh, she put it in the bag real quick. Yeah, A Train, get out of here. You're crazy. Be back in an hour. I'm gonna go have coffee with Miss Bird. Yeah. I'm scared something's gonna happen to this old lady. Yeah, for real. Like if you know your kid is Homelander's son, I'd be scared of him being alone with anyone. Mm-mm. Is she leaving? What is his deal? <laughs> Even regular milk, dude? What is, yeah, what is you your deal? You have to be creepy with regular milk? Ew, what is this guy's deal? Oh. Oh. Dang, so she does care about Billy. Of course. I was so mad at the end of season one. I was like, this bitch was in on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because we didn't get any info on like what she felt or anything. Where is she at? <gasps> is she locked in there? Is she trying to get out or in? <laughs> How are you going to make Homelander do anything? That's so fucked up. I found his head in one room. And his torso in another. Oh my god. Didn't he see me? Yeah. I don't want him to do that to you. Oh. Homelander. He did that to a dude that was hitting on Maeve. Oh. Oh, so she's scared of Homelander. I mean, Everybody she, should be. <laughs> yeah, I would be too. Look how menacing he looks. Truth is, I never had a girl. Or a mom. 
Oh. He didn't have either of them? No, he I think he was all fabricated, baby? if I remember. Oh. Like his whole backstory and everything. Right. Oh, God, no. Stop trying to corrupt him. I love you, son. <laughs> that seemed cringy. He's like, I'm gonna go drink all your milk. Ugh. Don't. Oh no, I'm so scared for her right now. <gasps> no, he heard all that. Dude, I think she knows who this guy is. Or maybe the person who lifted up the boat. Yeah, maybe they'll be able to recruit the person because maybe he knows Kimiko already. Right. <laughs> what the hell is this? Prom night or something? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's like a party city? It's a party store, yeah. He's got a gun right next to him. Oh, damn, Kimiko. Ask questions later, I guess. <laughs> what was it getting in here? Oh, mm. she knew him. What is going on? Oh, oh, what the hell? She's gone. She's gonna jump on him. Oh. Oh, oh, what? That's him then, the origami guy? Yeah, is that the guy she was with when they were living in the, that one flashback in her country? Oh, okay. Her brother. That's what she was trying to tell me. Aww. He's... Oh, he doesn't care. What? The fuck, Billy? Oh, damn, he's got almighty push. Oh my gosh, dude. Wait, Kimiko? I thought she was cool with Frenchie. I think maybe her brother was her priority. Just turn up the mask once in a while. Feels good. I don't think it's that simple for Starlight. Yeah, true. She's actually got into some shit. Bite it off. True. Pippi Longstocking would bite a D. Mm. <laughs> God. That was a great line. I don't remember Pippi Longstocking being that <laughs> that dope. I don't either. I was going to say, yeah. Press the bell. We ain't got all night. Oh, they're not following him? Mm hmm. She's one of the boys. Let's find another way. Oh, so she wasn't special before. Yeah. You're not a monster. Oh. Oh. So I guess some people get injected and they just die. Yeah. And some people actually get powers. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. She's being watched or something. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I'm scared. Oh, it's A-Train. Get out. Ah. You got me. I'm... You know, I just want you to think about me 
when you're getting your skin peeled off your face, bitch. Okay, kill him. Why? Yeah, why should she let you leave? <laughs> kill him, please. You're not gonna do shit. Why is that? Manipulate him. Killed your fucking girlfriend. Yes, there it is. We know. Then we'll both be dead. I'm fine. Okay, it's either me or both of us. Which one do you think I'm gonna take? <laughs> Fucking try it. I don't give a shit. Nice. She's got her big girl britches on. Let's go. This is how we that is how we get things done. Let's go. Girls get it done, yeah. Girls get it done. <laughs> She's like, I'll be taking that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy right now. She manipulated. She did it. She's like, take a lap. That's what you're good at, right? <laughs> Got him. <sighs> now you can breathe. God, look at those boots. Oh my gosh. He's like, oh, they shot at me. <laughs> I don't think so. Come on, no. Think so he's teaming up with the people who killed his own parents? Mm hmm Oh, she's stronger than him. She's like, I'm not gonna let you. <laughs> he's like, I'll push you, bitch. <gasps> oh, no. damn. Why would he do that? Come on, I think he got brainwashed. Can he just like push her and then keep running? Oh yeah, like He's force like, push. Yeah, there you go. Oh what? Y'all are in the middle of the street doing this? Oh damn. Well you just kind of put your sister in a situation that looks bad. Yeah, for real. Uh oh, this isn't uh -oh. gonna be good. Okay. Oh, she came back. It was her. Oop, she's stronger than you, stronger than you. Sleeper hold, sleeper hold. Knock him out. Is that the boys? Please be the boys. Yeah, it's them. Cheers, love. At least someone's got some sense around here. <laughs> Billy, I'm gonna need you to know your audience. <laughs> Poor Kimiko. That's rough, dude. Now they're in the middle of the street. Like, we need to get out yeah, of here. Yeah, we need to. <laughs> they're, we're wanted, too. Yeah, we got to get this show on we the road. We got this big shady van sitting in the middle of the street. Mm-hmm. We got Billy the Butcher right here. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. You come between me and my missus again. Well, you didn't let us know that that was the plan. True, you kind of lied to everybody, so. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to get in. Yeah, I thought he was going to leave or something. Yeah, but this whole thing was to help his girlfriend's cause, too. Yeah. So now it's not about him anymore. Like, Billy just kind of took it over. Well, I think Billy Billy's thing always was... About his wife. About him, yeah. But it was about getting back at Homelander because he didn't know she was alive. Yeah, and he knew that uh, Huey wanted to get back at A-Train. That's why he included him in the first place. But it was mm -hmm. always selfish. It was always about getting what he wanted. Mm -hmm. And, like, we, the audience, weren't even, like, fully aware of, of his motivations throughout season one. Right. And, like, honestly, I, I felt, you know, mostly bad... For, for Billy, like, I mostly wanted to see him succeed during season one, but throughout these first two episodes, like, honestly, I, I side more with Huey. Yeah. Like, I'm, Billy seems, like, kind of lost. It seems like he's so angry that, like, it's starting to, like, cloud his judgment because, like, you know, at first, this was, like, a revenge thing, you know, to, like, get back at the company who took her, but now... I mean, there are so many emotions going through his head because he doesn't know what we know. Like, he didn't see that she really does hate Homelander and all this. 
he has no idea. So he's just stuck with his himself and his own mind. And I'm sure that's no good to anyone, but yeah, I do feel bad for Huey. I feel bad for Mother's Milk too, cause he can't go back home either, but I don't know. I hope Billy understands that like, you know, we're kind of all in this together, you know, you shouldn't be pushing people away like that. I mean, that are trying to help, you know? Yeah, like I, he punched Huey like right there at the end, but we, we saw that like, they, they convinced him to not, I guess, go after Kimiko and the brother and just like take them. Like they're still gonna take the brother, I guess, but yeah, I don't think Kimiko is gonna be cool with just handing him over, you know? No, I agree. Yeah, she's not gonna be cool with that. So, I mean, obviously we see that like Frenchie and Mother's Milk are like, you know, they're not just gonna ride or die for Billy no matter what he says, you know? They've got their own things too and at that moment, they were like, nah, you're, what you're doing is kind of fucked up. Well, I, I think they were kind of pissed too that like he like kind of didn't answer completely like why he was gone that whole time. It wasn't until he was put on the spot and he had to fess up and be like, oh, Becca's still alive that he told them. It's like, I thought we were the boys, you know, like I thought you were, you know, yeah. like, you've been keeping so much from us. And like, he, at least Huey's not, you know? Dang, this is like... I, I know there's something we haven't seen yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a hidden piece that we're missing. I kind of don't understand why A-Train wouldn't just kill Starlight in the room there. He's quick enough that he could just escape and, like, no one would see him, right? That I mean, that I guess that's his one crux is, like, he cares so much about the fame and, like, his status that... Yeah. That's, like, the only way she could appeal to him to, like, not let her secret out. Right. I mean, to be fair, he could have. But I honestly, I don't know why he wouldn't just go tell Homelander now. Mm. Like he could tell Homelander straight up, I killed Popclaw. She's trying to tell on me. She's got the compound V. I don't know what she's going to do with it. And then just let Homelander handle it. Like your, yeah, your hands are like clean of it. You know, like why didn't he just do that? Or maybe he will in the next episode. Maybe he will, but like, I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for us. We had a lot of fun watching this episode. It was so crazy. So to make sure you don't miss the next one with us, hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure you follow our Instagram to stay up to date with the channel. And thank you so much to our first two Patreon supporters, Stefan and George. Y'all are the real MVPs. And if you'd like to become a Patreon supporter as well, we'll leave a link down in the description. But as always, guys, y'all are the greatest. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.